I, I lost an arm uh, on assignment doing a completely separate story a couple of years ago. And um, that was an unfortunate occurrence, unfortunate accident, but it also um, led me to start thinking about prosthetic technology, which I had covered when I still, when I wasn't a customer, as it were, and I figured it was time to revisit that a little bit with a little more uh, uh, skin in the game, as it were. When I got attached to this sophisticated uh, robotic prosthetic at the Applied Physics Laboratory and um, was able to move it just by thinking about it, it, it was a very emotional moment for me. It really was. And so it, it's, um, it's a very different kind of journalism, put it that way. And um, not every story is going to be like this by the nature of what we do, but um, I know for a fact that I uh, wrote a much better story on prosthetics than I did when I wrote those stories when I had two arms. Well, you know, the AAAS is the gold standard uh, organization uh, in this country and certainly among the great organizations in the world that uh, recognizes scientists and uh, promotes scientific endeavor. So it was, it was very meaningful to me. Uh, when, when you think about who the judges are and who, who they're truly your peers and they've recognized your work as being something special, that's, that's very gratifying. It's not just important, it's essential that uh, we keep the flame from flickering out uh, in the world of science journalism. And so we're talking about you know, fundamental scientific literacy, which has diminished in this country for sure. And my role is to, to try to bring as many people into the tent as possible with at least a basic understanding of what the advances are, what the significance of them is, and how that might make you think twice about how you live your life or what you buy or who you vote for. I'm always trying to think of the, the conversation I might have with friends at that cocktail party or, or the, my mother or my sister or whatever and how would I explain this to them. And if you keep that in mind the whole way through, uh, you'll end up with a story that people will get and what you're doing is you're walking this tightrope between simplifying and translating into expressions, terms, analogies that a lay audience can understand. And I, I struggle mightily to honor the nuance and, and the complexity of science, which can at times be daunting, and yet still translate that into something that is accessible to an audience that may know nothing about that research. I will write a story, and I'll try to come up with a good explanation like I just you know, or an analogy that I think works, and I'll run it by the scientist. I'll, I'll call them up or send them the pat paragraph and say, is this accurate? Is this right? Am I, am I doing it justice? And if you, if you kind of slog through that, get the scientist to help you along the way and fact check you on the back end, and never forget that you're, you know, who you're talking to, in the end, you're going to end up with a story that people hopefully will understand enough of the technicalities to, to have a basic understanding, but still be engaged.